Okay. So let me show you how to actually do this problem. It's a very different problem. So it was certainly involve a little out of box thinking. Okay. But you know, I was interested in these two terms over here, which looks very similar to these two terms over here. Only thing it's, it has an opposite sign. Okay. So before expansion, I'm going to do one, like one a different step. Let's see how to proceed. So what I'll do is like leave five outside first bracket. I'll just copy it like this for now. And I'll try to convert this minus three a squared plus two a to a form um, plus three square minus two a for that. We just take minus common inside the bracket. Okay. And put another bracket and write this as three a square minus two a. Okay. Now we can expand from here, but you know, like before that also, I think it's better to make a substitution and write this 3a square minus 2a as some other variable, let's say x. So that we don't make mistake during expansion. So let's rewrite it in terms of x. So first bracket is actually x. Okay, so we can just write it as x instead. And then inside the second bracket, we have 6 minus x. Okay, now let's expand this 5 minus. 6x plus x square. Okay, does it look like the quadratic polynomial? And we can expand this because x is in the middle. Product of the corner is 5. Okay, product of corner is 5 or 5x square. So think of two numbers whose product is 5, but sum is minus 6. Yeah, not 3 and 2. It is it is 5 and 1 combination. Minus 5 plus minus 1 is minus 6. But minus 5 into minus 1 then you get plus 5. Okay. So it's minus 5x minus x plus x square. Okay, 5 common, 1 minus x. Then minus x common. 1 minus x, x again. Okay, final step we get 5 minus x multiplied with 1 minus x. Okay. Now we can substitute back the values of a. So my final answer would be 5 minus, okay, x is 3a square minus 2. So if you put a minus side outside, actually the signs would invert. So minus 3a square plus 2a. And in the second bracket, it's again 1 minus 3a square plus 2a. When I observe these two brackets, it feels like they are again a quadratic polynomial. Isn't it? So that means there is still some more work to be done. This is not over. Let's rearrange them and write it as minus 3a square plus 2a plus 5. I did this because a term must be in middle. Same thing we do with the second bracket. Let's write this as minus 3a square plus 2a plus, plus 1. Okay, uh, let's try to factorize the first bracket again. Product of the corner is, is 15, is minus 15. Minus 3 into 5 is minus 15. Okay, so think of two numbers whose difference is 2 and the product is, is minus 50, is 15. So it's, I think again, 5 and 3. So this becomes 5a minus 3a plus 5. Okay, let's solve this one, then we'll see the second bracket. Okay, so we have minus a common in the first bracket. So this is 3a minus 5. Then again, minus 1 common in the second bracket. 3a minus 5. Okay, so we can write this as minus a minus 1. 3a minus 5. Okay, let's see the second second bracket. Okay, here uh, corner product is minus 3. So I think I can write this as minus 3a square. Uh, okay, minus 3 minus 1. So product is minus 3, sum is 2. So I think we can write this as uh, plus 3a minus a plus 1. Yes, th minus 3a is common, correct. 
So inside the bracket we get a minus one, then again minus one, a minus one. Okay. So this is minus three a minus one and a minus one. Okay, you can leave your answer till here. Though if you want, there is one more step which can be done. That is, you observe this bracket. Okay, so in this bracket, both the terms has, have minus. So I can take, I can put a minus here and bring this minus outside. Okay, same thing here. Both these terms have minus. So I can just put plus here and bring the common minus outside. Okay, and then this minus and this minus multiplies to give plus. So my final answer will become a plus 1, 3a minus 5, 3a plus 1, a minus 1.